Hello YouTube. Well, I wasn't going to uh, video rebuilding my uh, truck here, but since I started, the scope of what I'm going to do is kind of expanded. Uh, you know, the the long as I'm at it's got the better of me again. So I decided that I would. Uh, I am doing a ZF5 speed swap into my truck here in uh, place of the new process four speed just to make it a little nicer to drive, a little more practical. Most of the ZF5 swaps that I see on YouTube involve big blocks or diesels into four-wheel drive trucks. Uh, not so many with uh, two-wheel drive and uh, six cylinders. So I decided I'd go ahead and, uh, and video this. For those of you who haven't seen my uh, videos before, I'll give you a little bit of a background on this. This is my 1976 Ford F-150 half ton two wheel drive. I bought this truck in the spring of 1997, so I've had this truck for 27 years. When I got it, it had a 360 in it. I ran that for a while. Then I built a uh, pretty nice 352 with headers, four barrel, and uh, it, it ran pretty good. I ran that in it for about 10 years. And then about five years ago, I decided after I sold my Super Duty, after I quit milking cows and quit, uh, decided I didn't need the Super Duty around anymore because I just didn't need that much truck, I decided to make this my, uh, my uh, primary uh, truck to run around the farm here, and I put a 306 cylinder into it. I got from a friend of mine, and I've been really happy with that. It's always ran really good. But last summer, it developed a bit of a knock, so I decided to tear it down now and see what was going on. And it turned out that the uh, skirt off a number five piston had broken. So I decided to do a rebuild on this engine. The block is down at the machine shop right now. Uh, in fact, the block is actually done. It cleaned up at uh, 20 thousandths over. The broken piston didn't seem, to, uh, didn't seem to hurt the block, but it was war enough I wanted to have it rebored. The crankshaft is fine. Uh, right now the machine shop is reconditioning my connecting rods and pressing the new pistons onto them. I should get all that back in about uh, yeah, in a couple of weeks, I might uh, I might video a little bit of that. But anyway, while this was apart, I found on marketplace a ZF5. Uh, of course, with this, I need the small bolt pattern, small block bolt pattern, and a two wheel drive, which seemed to be kind of rare. But uh, anyway, I grabbed this one and decided to go ahead and do the swap again, just to make the truck a little more. A little nicer to drive, a little more practical, and uh, besides that, I just kind of wanted to. So, uh, with that, let's wander on down to the barn and talk about the transmission I got. Okay, this is the ZF 5-speed I picked up a couple of weeks ago. The guy I bought it from told me that it was out of a 89 F250 two-wheel drive with a 351 Windsor and it had about 80,000 miles on it and I got what I consider to be a really good deal on it and the reason that I think uh, I think that I got a good deal and that the guy told me that it had been sitting around his garage for a long time is that the uh, where the mount bolts on here on both sides of this is is broken here but i also got a perfectly good casting to go with it so uh that's a pretty good deal now if you've never torn apart a zf five speed you might think that you just unbolt it pull the old uh, casting off there and slap the new one on and you would be completely wrong uh, the ZF5 speeds it's actually you do just the opposite you set it up on its tail end pull the bolts out and pull the casting 
up off of it and the uh, the two the uh, main gear counter shaft or the main shaft counter shaft all the gears and the uh, shift fork rods all stay with the back part of the casting so in order to change this you have to disassemble the entire transmission which uh, doesn't seem to be too bad a job to me shoot back in the day I've rebuilt Muncie four speeds and Ford top loader four speeds and from, from what I can see this is actually easier now there are already a pretty fair amount of ZF transmission disassembly and reassembly videos on YouTube and so I don't feel the need to create another one so the next time you see this transmission uh, it will have that good casting on it I'm not going to video disassembling and reassembling this if you want to watch that you can search out videos like I said there are plenty of those so let's go back up to the truck okay okay I hope this is showing up on video but the uh, rear mount for the new new transmission I expect to be a really straightforward easy uh, thing this is the the cross member I think all I will have to do is uh, move this back a couple of inches and drill a couple new holes in the frame here I believe that's all I have to do with that the drive shaft I'm not sure yet uh, how involved that's going to be I need to get the old transmission out of here and do some measuring and see what uh, what I'll have to do with the drive shaft uh, I will let you know in the next video what I find out with that uh, I think probably the most involved thing will be getting the uh, clutch linkage uh, squared away I'll show you that so the ZF's with the small block bolt patterns I'll use a hydraulic throwout bearing to actuate the clutch uh, so there's a couple of things I could do with that as, uh, in regard to uh, clutch linkage I have to find a place to mount this uh, master cylinder clutch master cylinder uh, I could try and put it on the firewall up here but uh, then I would have to reinforce the firewall because it wasn't made for this to me a more appealing option would be to fabricate a bracket down here to mount on the frame rail uh, involving a bell crank down here to actuate the uh, actuate the clutch uh, one thing that makes that appealing is with the six cylinder I'm gonna have plenty of room in there so I think that's what I'm going to do uh, I did find one video online about uh, someone making the bracket for mounting the uh, mounting the clutch master cylinder there uh, it gave me some good ideas uh, I'm gonna do things a little bit differently and uh, I will show you what I come up with uh, to mount the master cylinder there uh, in the next video so that's kind of an overview of the project like I said before uh, don't see too much uh, Z5 swaps into half ton two wheel drives with uh, six cylinders so I will let you know how difficult or easy it is so right now I think I'm going to spend the rest of the day uh, cleaning up in here this is my old shop I do most of my work down in the barn these days don't work much anymore up here and it's kind of a pigsty I need to clean it up a little bit um, then uh, I think I'll still have time to drop the old transmission out here so I can take some measurements and see what I need to do about a drive shaft so uh, don't know when the next video about this will come out probably two or three weeks so until then, everyone out there have a good day.